Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is day 347 of posting chess puzzle every day for a year. Uh, today, it is going to be a chess.com puzzle, and it will be white to move. Black just played c6, so please pause the video now. Comment down below what you think white should do here to win the game. So the first move is going to be pretty obvious. We're going to play knight c7. The idea of this is to escape the threat of c takes d5, as well as attack the rook on e8 and defend the, the hanging pawn on e6. So black plays rook g8, because if the rook goes to b8, for example, we're just going to play e7, and the threat of rook d8 check cannot be stopped. Um, let's say knight f6, trying to prevent uh, e8 equals queen, we're just going to play rook d8 check, and black will be forced to play king g7, and we take on b8. Uh, so to avoid the rook d8 check, we're going. Black is going to play rook g8. So now we play e7, threatening um, rook d8 and e8 equals queen. So black has only one reasonable move here. It is knight f6 to attack the rook on d7 and protect against e8 equals queen. We play rook d8. The idea is to play rook takes g8 check next potentially, but black plays king g7 here. Now, if we play rook takes g8 check here, uh, black will just play king takes g8, and after e8 equals queen check, knight takes e8, knight takes e8, black will be winning after the king f7, knight d6 check, king e6, and black will push the pawns, and they will be much faster than our pawns, as well as our knight, which doesn't seem to be doing that much. So instead of rook takes g8 check, we have this really surprising move, See if you can pause the position now, pause the video, and attempt to find it. So the first move is rook f8. This is quite the idea. Now we want to play knight e6 check, but after king f7, our pawn is going to be lost. But to prevent king f7, we're just going to play rook f8. And now knight e6 check is a threat. In addition, the knight on f6 is under attack now. So if black does not do anything, let's... Let's say he plays h5, we're going to play knight e6 check. Let's say king h7, and we're just going to play rook takes f6, winning the knight. And soon, after let's say rook e8, rook f7 check, if king g8, rook f8 check, we're completely winning. And if king h6, we can play knight c7, win the rook, and be completely winning as well. So, if black takes, we also have knight e6 check here. The idea is that after king f7, we take on f8 equals queen, and after king takes c6, we should be quite easily winning here. After, let's say, queen a8, attacking these two pawns and winning one of them, and all the other pawns will fall as well on the queen side, and then we can promote this pawn easily while using our queen to stop black from promoting the king side pawns. Thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle, and see you in day 400, no, day 348. Seven. Have a wonderful day.